uh, 14, 15 years ago. I was, uh, I just picked my son up from school. So I pull up at the border shop, park my car. It's pretty packed in there. My son's fly, so he's kind of active. So I take him outside and we're standing in front of the barber shop. Um, police officer pulls up and pulls out his pistol, points his pistol at me. I have my son in front of me and he's telling me to get my ass on the ground right now. Said I fit the description of someone who stole the vehicle and stole the vehicle that was in, that was in front of me because that was my vehicle. He said, get your ass on the ground right now before I shoot you. So basically, I, I, I go down to the ground because I'm not trying to be shot. I got four pistols laying on me. They put handcuffs on me, laying on the ground. My son is screaming. And all I can think at the time is, please don't let this, none of these guys shoot me in front of my son. They wouldn't got the registration on the car, found out the car was my car. And basically, this, oh, we're sorry, and left. That's basically all it was. But I hope, well, I always hope him uh, never got to have that situation that happened to me, ever happened to him, which is a fear for me because he's a young black man. I don't ever want to get that phone call that a police officer shot my kid. I've, I've taught him how to, uh, we should do and shouldn't do when a police officer is always, sir, yes, sir, follow follow their commands. Thank God, he's 20 years old, never been arrested, just goes to school. So, um, but that that doesn't mean anything as far as dealing with the police.